The images are seared on Milwaukee's psyche. Police found a grisly scene, a human head apparently preserved. Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killer, cannibal. 17 victims in 13 years. Jeffrey, I hate you! I know! Now, 25 years after the verdict that sent him to prison for centuries, Jeffrey Dahmer is getting the red carpet treatment at New York's Tribeca Film Festival and the world premiere of the film, My Friend Dahmer. I realized that he eventually became a monster, but he wasn't always a monster. Cartoonist Durf Backdurf wrote the graphic novel. It's how he processed the news his high school classmate had grown up to be a prolific killer. This is a guy that I, mean, I knew. Yeah, I, so this I think is a guy I gave people. rides home from school. What? Backdurf illustrates Dahmer's uncomfortable existence at his Ohio high school. A kid so unremarkable, he was almost invisible. The Jeff that I knew he committed no crime. Backdurf says Dahmer coped by drinking at school, and his impersonations of a man with cerebral palsy amused Backdurf and his buddies, who formed the Dahmer Fan Club to showcase his bad behavior. But Backdurf says they considered Dahmer more of a freak than a friend, distilled it's a story of isolation. Jeffrey Dahmer clearly has taught you a lesson. How we treat dysfunctional kids, how we push them along, how we kind of shuttle them out into the real world with no support. As an adult, Backdurf inked the young Dahmer's warning signs, his unraveling home life, his drinking, his animal dissections, but says as it was happening, no one intervened. It's also a story about failure because everybody fails, particularly the adults, over and over again. And the result of that failure is tragedy. That is what's, I think, intriguing about the story. He, he was somebody's neighbor. He wasn't a monster living in a cave. Mark Myers is the director who brought Backdurf's book to the big screen. He filmed it in Bath, Ohio, at Dahmer's actual home. He even used some of Dahmer's former classmates as extras. They just felt that this kid slipped through the cracks and years later looked back and, and knew it was a shame. Myers cast Disney Channel heartthrob Ross Lynch as Dahmer, who bears an unsettling resemblance to the tormented teen. The film is an incentive to intervene. People can look at this situation of a man who will eventually become a monster and hopefully it opens up their heart a little bit more for other children that may be troubled and that someone in the community, the teachers, the parents, friends, may be able to identify it a little bit earlier and help someone out. He separated the skull from that body. Criminal defense attorney Gerald Boyle represented Dahmer. He was a very lonely boy. This loneliness that he was experiencing to the nth degree allowed evil to come into his head and he had nothing to stop it. Well, what I really want to ask you is whether you think any good can come from all this evil. What good can come of all this evil? Boyle says he had hoped Dahmer would be sent to a mental institution instead of a prison so experts could study him. And maybe they could find out what's happened to adolescents today with what they're going through and how a Jeffrey Dahmer can evolve without anybody catching him and maybe they would get an idea of what you should be looking for in the schools. They would have found a lot of things that could have helped us. A lot of things. That opportunity was lost when Dahmer was murdered in prison, but the crew of My Friend Dahmer hopes the story of his youth has new impact, because ignoring the isolated can have devastating consequences. These guys keep popping up every few years, whether it's Adam Lanza or Jared Loeffner or any of the other guys who snap and then there's a pile of bodies. Colleen, how did he learn that Dahmer was a serial killer? Well, actually, he lost track of Dahmer after high school and found out the same way we all did, actually. Woke up one day and Dahmer's picture was on every TV in the world. Well, we saw you there on the red carpet in New York City. You also saw the movie while you were there. We did, and you'll notice we had no video from it, and that's because the filmmakers are looking for a studio to buy it. Now, the movie was riveting, but it wasn't necessarily sympathetic to Dahmer, though it certainly made you think of him in a whole new light. And they really do hope that some good will come from this. Well, you know, they want to get their message out, so they're hoping for wide distribution and so far it's gotten excellent reviews so it may be coming to a theater near you soon. All right, if that happens we'll keep you posted. Colleen, thank you. Mm -hmm.